So, five-step guide to being what German, what, what region, what generation, what income class even, it, it all falls apart. Culture and identity can't be defined. Culture and identity are the tapestry of stories, perhaps, that we tell ourselves about ourselves. The, the common memories that we all have, the stereotypes, perhaps, that we def defend ourselves against, and also the stereotypes that we think are true about us. And out of all the stereotypes about us Germans, and there are a few, out of all of those, we have one good one. One. And that's order and efficiency. And that's no fun at all. I mean, it's not like the Irish. Oh, that's how we Irish are. We like to have a good crack and we dance a little and we drink too much. Then we come to work too late, we drink some more, we dance a little. We're Irish, what can we do? <laughs> that's fun. Order and efficiency, really fucking hard work. That's another reason why we Germans travel. Sometimes you just need time off being German. That's why we travel to countries like Italy, to just once glance into the abyss of chaos. <laughs> it's our guilty pleasure. You can see us in Italian hotel lobbies going, Werner, do you know what I did this morning at breakfast? I was 10 minutes late. <laughs> Order and efficiency are no fun. They only become fun when you get to go abroad and compare them to how shit everything is elsewhere. That's another reason why we travel. Ah, oh, we don't take our holiday snaps at the beaches. No, we take them in the toilets. When we see that sign, please flush nothing but toilet paper down this toilet. Oh. That's when we get that iPhone out and take that picture for our friends back home. And we feel that warm glow of identity and belonging and quite frankly, of simply knowing better. As we sit there and shit in the bin. It's a sign. You can't disregard a sign.